Hey, hey Brian, thing? special delivery! What? Dude, dude, you know what this is? Oh my gosh, okay, okay. No. This is... <gasps> it's the iPhone 4S. That's the 4S. I've been waiting so long for this. You know what? <laughs> it's beautiful. Brian, it looks just like the 4. Yeah, but it has a faster processor. It has Siri. This is amazing. Yeah, but it looks just like the 4, man. Enjoy that iPhone 4, Brian. It's the 4S! What's happening? Brian Tong here and welcome to the Apple Buy for all the good and bad inside the world of Apple. Now the iPhone 4S is here. Apple launched a barrage of updates and I know there are plenty of you that probably haven't talked to a real person since then and I wouldn't blame you. Now Apple store lines were not as long as normal and who really cares what the tech experts originally said with their lukewarm impressions. The 4S already established itself as the best selling iPhone ever on launch day with over 1 million pre-orders. Now those same experts are now giving it rave reviews and calling it the best iPhone yet. And it's true, a dual core A5 processor, an eight megapixel camera, and Siri. Now the biggest thing everyone is talking about is Siri. The Cupertino kids even threw in all these crazy responses that you can ask her just like a person, such as. How many more years do I have to work on the Apple Byte? Let me check that for you. <sighs> Why am I here? I don't know. Maybe the Genius Bar folks can answer that. Okay. Really? Now, I'm not one to judge, but maybe you guys should get out a little more, you know, talk to real people. You know, it's just a suggestion. Now that the iPhone 4S isn't the only thing Apple dropped on us, iOS 5 was released and it breathes new life into your previous phones. So, we let one of our interns who's about to be let go to do the video with some major features and some nuggets that you guys can find. Hey guys, Brian Song here with CNET.com with the official iOS 5 release from Apple. Its new core features have pretty much remained the same from our other preview videos, but there's plenty more to talk about, so we'll show you a few of the major ones and also dig a little deeper. Now this video will not include a look at Siri, which is available only on iOS 5 for the iPhone 4S, so look for our video once that's available. But the first feature that will impact you the most is notifications. Apple takes a cue from Android here and you'll just swipe down from the top to see them, but improves on them with their level of control. In your settings, you'll be able to set the order for notifications displayed. Also, pick the alert style for the notification to appear as a banner that will go away, the standard on-screen pop-up, or none at all. And there's a weather and stock widget included as well. Any app with notifications can be set up this way. iMessage is Apple's own version of BlackBerry Messenger, and it lets you send messages to your other friends using iOS 5 devices without using any text messages from your cell phone plan. Now you'll see a blue bubble so you'll know you're using iMessage and you'll also get read and delivered message confirmations. Now you can still send normal texts to non-iOS device users, but some people might be able to get rid of their costly text messaging plan with this feature. Also, iCloud integration is everywhere in iOS 5 and it allows all of your emails, contacts, calendars, and more to be synced across all your devices with iCloud enabled. Now the syncing of media content is the slickest part. You can download a song on one device from iTunes and it will appear on the other. Take a picture on one device and it will show up on your photo stream synced from the cloud in seconds on another device as well. Now sticking with photos, the camera app has been improved. You can now get to it from your lock screen by double tapping the home button and you can also use the volume up button to take a picture in iOS 5. There's also some basic built-in photo editing to crop, rotate, auto enhance and remove red eye. And Twitter fans will be happy with iOS 5 and Twitter integration everywhere. Plug in your account info and you can tweet directly from your photos, maps, Safari, and more. Now another new app is Find My Friends that is similar to Google Latitude where you can let close family and friends know where you are if you want to. Now one cool feature is allowing specific people to know where you are for a specific block of time that eventually expires. Also new is magazine apps with subscriptions that will now appear in your new stand app. Now, not all of them are compatible at the moment, but that will change soon. You also get reminders, and there are plenty of third-party apps out there like it, but many users will like how it's integrated into iOS, and you'll really be able to take advantage of this feature with Siri on the iPhone 4S. Now, there's still plenty of other features in iOS 5, but we wanted to give you an overview of some of the major ones. I'm Brian Tong for CNET.com, and there's your first look at iOS 5. Excellent stuff, guy that wears way too many colors. Now, next week, you can look for our secrets to iOS 5 because who doesn't like secrets? Well, actually, I don't, especially when it's your ex who's been cheating behind your back. 
In other news, Apple also released a few new free apps in addition to Find My Friends. Cards let you send a physical greeting card that gets mailed right from your phone. Fellas, don't overlook this one. Trust me on this. This app will save your relationship and keep your girl around for at least another week or two. Then there's also the new airport utility that lets you directly manage your Wi-Fi network from your iDevice and change the settings. And for those of you who feel like the Apple TV has been getting no love at all, the new iOS 5 update now brings AirPlay mirroring from your iPad, NHL and Wall Street Journal content, a new way to browse movie trailers, and the new iCloud photo stream feature. Unfortunately, not all has gone so smoothly with the iCloud and iOS 5 launch. Servers were hammered, leaving many people with unusable iOS devices for half of the day. And the iCloud services, specifically mail, it was up and down since its launch. And when you can't get your email, it really does feel like the end of the world, at least for people on Twitter. Now, things will improve. We get it. The servers were slammed. But with the large and growing numbers of iPhone users, maybe it's time to at least roll out future updates to people over a day or two in chunks, as long as I can get it on the first day. Now to the quick bites, and sticking with the iCloud, you can now re-download your purchased songs and TV shows from iTunes, but what about movies? According to the LA Times, Apple is working on finalizing deals with Hollywood Studios to allow movies to be streamed to their devices without manually transferring them. And music fans, we didn't forget about you all. It's not just the iPhone 4S and iOS 5's time to shine. The Nano and the iPod Touch all receive their subtle updates. The Nano, my favorite iPod to hate on. Well, it gets an improved interface with larger icons for easier navigation. And then this pains me to say, Apple embraced the atrocious Nano watch movement that I tried to kill and will now offer 16 different watch faces, including Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Now, the new Nano starts at the lower price of $129 for the 8 gig and $149 for the 16 gig. The iPod Touch brings more subtle changes, bringing a white version for all three storage capacities. It'll be compatible with iOS 5, and it drops its price to the magical $199 for an entry-level 8 gig model. All right, there were tons of stories we could have done, but that's going to do it for this week's show. We want to know, though, one question from you. What do you want to ask Siri? What have you asked her, and what has she said back? Email us at theapplebyteacnet.com, and we'll ask her directly for you next week. And that's going to do it for this week's show. I'm Brian Tong. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time for another Bite of the Apple. So he's all excited. He opens the box. It looks just like an Apple. Okay. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You're going to hear So what's your name? My name? Siri. This guy's nine years old or why? He's so in love. Are you single? Will you marry me? <sighs> what are you wearing? Aluminum silicate glass and stainless steel. Nice. Hug. Would you like a hug? Who's your daddy? What? Siri, what's the meaning of life? What is love? <laughs> Can I kiss you? Man, this guy Ugh. needs to get out of the house. No, he, what he needs is a girlfriend. That's what he needs. <laughs>